Hi guys, this is IGCSC O level chemistry paper 22 November 2019 question 11. The diagram shows a simple cell and the electrolyte is dilute sulfuric acid. We've got metal P, we've got metal Q, we've got a voltmeter and we've got wires. Which pair of metal produces the larger voltage? Largest voltage. So this would be the pair of metal that would be the furthest away in the reactivity series. So the reactivity series starts with potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, aluminum, zinc, iron, lead. Then we have hydrogen, copper, silver, gold. So this is our reactivity series, most reactive being potassium and the least reactive being gold. So now, which pair of metals produce the largest voltage? So we've got magnesium and iron. So the difference between magnesium and iron is this much. Next, we've got magnesium and copper. The difference between magnesium and copper is this much. The next set is zinc and iron. Zinc and iron is this much. And the last one is zinc and copper. Zinc and copper is this much. So as you can clearly see, the greatest difference in reactivity is between magnesium and copper making option B the correct option for this question. Question 12. What are the ionic half equation for the electrode reaction during electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride? So the reaction at the anode would be oxidation of chloride ion. So that would be 2Cl minus giving us Cl2 gas plus 2 electrons. So this equation is the one given in option B. And at the cathode, since it is concentrated aqueous, it would be 2H positive, gaining 2 electrons and being reduced to hydrogen gas, which is the correct equation given only in option B. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 13. The temperature of the water in two beakers X and Y is measured as 21.5 degrees Celsius. Five grams of sodium chloride is dissolved in water in beaker X. The temperature changes to 18 degrees Celsius. So this means the reaction that took place was endothermic because the temperature decreased and 5 grams of calcium oxide is dissolved in water in beaker Y. The temperature changes to 29.4. So this has increased from 21.5. That means energy was given off during the dissolving, making this an exothermic process. Which types of process, process are occurring in beakers X and Y? X has an endothermic process in place and Y has an exothermic process taking place. So X being endothermic eliminates option C and D and Y being exothermic eliminates option A, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 14, which gases are used to generate electricity in a fuel cell? So that would be a hydrogen fuel cell. So the gases would be hydrogen and oxygen. So the options are carbon dioxide and oxygen, no. Hydrogen and methane, no. Hydrogen and oxygen, yes. Methane and carbon dioxide, no. So the correct option for this question is option C. Question 15. Which row identifies a chemical and a physical change? So chemical change. Boiling ethanol. Boiling ethanol would change its state from liquid to gas. This is a physical change. Burning ethanol would combust it. It would form CO2 and H2O. This is a chemical change. Dissolving ethanol in water would turn it aqueous. This is a physical change. And evaporating ethanol would turn it from liquid to gas. This is a physical change. So the only chemical change is burning of ethanol. Now for physical changes, burning of ethanol is a chemical change. Evaporating ethanol is a physical change. Burning ethanol again is a chemical change. And dissolving ethanol in water is a physical change. Now, since the chemical change is burning of ethanol, 
and the physical change is evaporating ethanol and both of them come in the same row this makes option b the correct option for this question question 16 a sample of dilute nitric acid is added to lumps of limestone in a conical flask the conical flask is placed on a balance and the loss in mass is measured. So dilute nitric acid is added to lumps of limestone in a conical flask. Okay. And the mass loss would be the volume of carbon dioxide that would be liberated. A second sample of nitric acid of a different concentration is separately tested. All other conditions are kept the same. The loss in mass in one minute at each concentration of nitric acid is shown. So concentration of 0 0.1 has a loss of 0 0.15 grams and the concentration of 1 mole per dm cube has a loss of 0 0.25 grams. Which row describes and explains the results obtained using 1 mole per dm cube nitric acid compared to 0 0.5 mole per dm cube? Description. Now since it is a more concentrated solution of nitric acid, we would have the description as decrease in reaction rate or increase in reaction rate. We would have an increase in reaction rate because there would be more moles of reactants to react with limestone. So this eliminates options A and B. And the explanation is in C it is increase in particle collision rate. Yes, this is correct because the greater the number of particles, the greater the number of particle collisions. So this is correct. And option D has increase in particle collision rate and collision energy no the energy would only increase or decrease if the temperature is increased or decreased so there is no change in collision energy therefore option d gets eliminated making option c the correct option for this question question 17 when carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen, methanol is formed. The forward reaction is exothermic. Which statements are correct? There are more moles of gas on the left-hand side of the reaction. So in total, the number of moles of gas are 2 plus 1, 3 moles. And on the product side, there is 1 mole. So this statement is correct. Increasing the temperature increases the amount of methanol at equilibrium. Since the forward reaction is exothermic, increasing the temperature will favor the backward reaction, decreasing the amount of methanol at equilibrium, making this statement incorrect. Next, increasing the pressure increases the amount of methanol. So an increase in pressure favors the side with the lesser number of moles. Since we have three moles of reactants and one mole of product, increasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium forward. So this statement is correct. And the last statement, Increasing the initial amount of hydrogen decreases the amount of methanol at equilibrium. No, increasing the concentration of hydrogen would favor the reaction in the forward direction, resulting in the amount of methanol at equilibrium increasing. So this statement becomes incorrect. So statements 1 and 3 being correct make option B the correct option for this question. Question 18. In the blast furnace, iron is formed when iron 3 oxide reacts with carbon monoxide in a redox reaction. Which substance is the oxidizing agent and which substance is the reducing agent? Since iron 3 oxide is converted into iron metal, so iron atom has an oxidation state of 0 and Fe3 positive ion has an oxidation state of 3 plus. So 3 plus going to 0 is reduction. So if Fe2O3 is reduced, it is an oxidizing agent and the only oxidizing agent present is Fe2O3. So option D has to be correct, but let's look at the reducing reagent as well. Now carbon monoxide is oxidized to carbon dioxide. So since carbon monoxide gets oxidized, carbon monoxide acts as the reducing agent, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 19, which oxide is classified as an amphoteric oxide? So aluminum oxide is amphoteric, calcium oxide is basic, 
copper oxide is basic nitrogen oxide is acidic so the only amphoteric oxide is aluminum oxide making option a the correct option for this question question 20 which statement describes the properties of hydrochloric acid carbon dioxide is produced when limestone reacts with hydrochloric acid yes when you place any carbonate in an acid it would produce carbon dioxide so this is correct hydrogen is produced when sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid no gas is produced nacl plus h2o are the products methyl orange turns yellow in strong hydrochloric acid that is true for methyl orange in bases in acids it turns red and red litmus turns blue when dipped in hydrochloric acid no blue litmus would turn red indicating that hcl is acidic in nature Therefore, the correct option for this question is option A.